this happened. Also, do you like how I halfway put up this? Yeah, I need to take away the painter's tape. Last year was just amazing, and this year is just hard. Sure enough, it was an accident. Things happen, I don't know, they like it, so I'm just going with it. Monday I decided to go ahead and delete the footage from the last two weeks that I got just because I was so behind on editing that it just was overwhelming and didn't make any sense to just keep it so I'm starting over it is Monday November 5th and I am in my classroom I intended to come over the weekend but it's so hard to come over the weekend when I just love being home with my husband so I didn't which is fine um, I did get some things organized at home and prepped for this week so the fact that I didn't come in this weekend isn't that big of a deal today's also the day that after school does not use my classroom so I get to stay in my classroom without any kids and it's and it's quiet and nice and I can just get things done however I don't know how long I'm gonna be able to stay here because because we might have to take our dog to the vet she has like a like a lump on her leg and it was leaking over the weekend but the vet was closed it looks better now but we still want to make sure that she's okay so so if we're able to take her in today we will if not we'll just take her whenever they are available but yeah so i'm gonna go ahead and get some things prepped and i'll talk to you guys later So it is after school. Mondays are the days where I get to be in my classroom just with myself without the after school kids using my classroom at all, which is really nice. Um, I picked Mondays because I feel like those are the days where I'm trying to catch up for the week, especially because I don't come in during the weekend. I used to do it a lot last year and honestly, I enjoyed it a lot, but this year is just a little bit different. So I'd rather just stay home over the weekend and just be with my dog, be with my husband and stuff like that. So I don't come in during the weekend, which means I need to catch up on things on Monday. So now I'm doing that. I am trying to redo like my calendar area right now as you saw in that little montage earlier. I like the way I had it, but I, but I felt like it was taking a lot of space and we didn't really use it a ton. I, I don't do calendar the way I did in kindergarten. I wanted to do it like that, but it wasn't really working out for me because um, that area where I have my calendar area was too is too tight of an area to have students sit at and do like a calendar routine. Then maybe I wanted to do almost like a digital calendar routine but i don't have a smart board so i just have a board with a projector which could be done but i feel like it would not be very interactive for the kids and on top of that even if i wanted to do like a powerpoint kind of thing i wouldn't be able to because my projector is so incredibly dim even with the lights off even with the tablecloths covering the windows it's so dim you can't really see anything so i try not to rely on that because you can't see anything. So for the skills that we would be doing during calendar, like counting, um, patterns, and, and addition, and stuff like that, I'm just doing during math center. So um, yeah, I still want to be able to count the days we've been in school and display like important events on the calendar. So that's why I want to keep it, but I want to condense it. So I'm gonna go ahead and change my ten frames to smaller ten frames, and. Um, I also already made my jobs a lot smaller than they used to be, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. That's my plan. I also want to fix my Anchor Your Learning little station. It's falling apart, and I don't have a hot glue gun. I have no idea where mine went, so I have to borrow one. I'm going to fix it. I want to take that alphabet thing down. It's not my favorite. I only got it because I needed one, and, um, and that one was already made. And it was from Michaels and it was like $2, so that's why I got it. I think it's cute, but I don't think it's very functional because it's kind of dark and you can't really see the letters very well. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my own ones that I made last year and I'm gonna put them up. I also wanna put some numbers up and uh, see if I can do maybe, a, I don't know. I don't know, we'll see what I can come up with. Okay, I just changed my seating chart. It took a while. I finished 
my calendar area right there. I also cleaned my back counter a little bit. I stored away some things in storage boxes. I mean, I've been buying those plastic storage bins and it's been helping a lot. I finally fixed my anchor your learning area. I also tied together all the desk legs together. That way they don't move too much. And um, that's pretty much it. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my stuff and go home because it's all, because it's already 5.32. Okay, so it's the end of the day. I've been in my classroom for about an hour. I was just filling out a post observation form that I need for Friday. Um, I did have my first formal observation at the school last Thursday. And I think it went pretty okay. Like, I don't think it went bad. It definitely, I didn't bomb it, but it definitely was not my best day. I think my pacing was off and I've known this. I need a new procedure for how to unpack and when to unpack it. And I have known this for a while, but I just haven't had the time to come up with a new one because I feel like I'm always trying to catch up on something and it's driving me crazy. Um, but other than that, I think it went well. I had lots of I had lots of student discussions going on, I had um, movement, and I feel like I had active participation strategies, so I feel like that was good, so we'll see how that goes, I'll let you guys know. I have my meeting on Friday, so I was doing that. Um, that's pretty much all I've been doing. I cannot stay here because Alex and I are going to go take our dog to a vet, so I think I'm going to stay here for maybe about... 10 more minutes and then I'm gonna go. Today we started painting our kindness rocks and all we did today was just paint them so we did like patterns on them. All The goal for today was just to cover the entire top of the rock and then we'll finish it. Then we'll then we'll flip them over once they're dry and finish that side next Tuesday and then we'll actually go ahead and write the message on them the following week. I just use acrylic paint and then just like super tiny paint brushes in hopes that that would make the students not waste a lot of paint because I did buy that paint myself and it was not cheap because it's acrylic paint. We also had an assembly so that took a really long time. I think it was a longer assembly than usual so that took up our entire afternoon. We did get to do math centers and I feel like that's going pretty well. I just right now I'm letting my students choose what center they want to work on but I don't have it displayed like I have my literacy centers displayed. I have paint all over me. So I need to work on that. Today I did not meet with any literacy groups. I felt like I was dealing with other things in the meantime. My new seating chart is working pretty well for the most part. There are a few students I'm a little iffy about but I'm gonna give them maybe like two or three days and if it's not working for them then I'll figure something else out. I am tired. I feel like I'm getting sick. Yesterday I did not feel good once I got home. Um, I felt like I didn't get home until like 5.30, almost 6 and, it, and then to go home and cook dinner, that's hard. Um, and, I'm st and I was still working at home. I was trying to get assembly, like awards ready and stuff like that. And, but I feel like I'll get the hang of it eventually. Maybe get back to where I was last year. Last year was just amazing. And this year is just hard. Hey guys, it is Wednesday. Our meeting after school was canceled. So I'm able to be in my classroom for a little bit. After school kids are still using my classroom. So I feel like I can't really get a lot of organizing done like I want to, but it's fine. I know I have at least 30 minutes right now because I just left for snack. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Um, today was not the best day. <laughs> I was unable to meet with my reading groups this morning because centers were just kind of off for some students, which was throwing everything else off. So I just kind of had to just walk around, make sure that they were doing the right thing and they knew what they were supposed to be doing. And um, yeah, that, that was a little bit, yeah, that was a little sucky, but it was fine. After that, everything was, after that, everything went really well. We had independent reading, we had story time, we had math time, we went to PE, we had math rotations, we had catch up time. Everything went so smoothly after lunch, so I'm happy for that. I need to clean my back table and I just need to clean up my back counter. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. This will be like a little cleaning montage, so enjoy.
So for classroom management, I have this like golden ticket system. If you want me to make a video more about my classroom management this year because it is different from last year, let me know. But yes, I use golden tickets and I find them literally everywhere. So my husband is usually the one that does laundry and he gets so mad when he finds golden tickets in the washer or in the dryer because they're literally, they're literally everywhere. But I just forget that I have them in my pocket. I thought it'd be fun to do this little segment in vlogs every now and then just to kind of see what ends up in my pockets at the end of the day. So I'm wearing a cardigan that has like pockets like this. So they're both heavy. So the first thing I have is a marker. I have a lipstick. I have some golden tickets. I have one, two, three, four, five, six. So these either I took away during the day or I just had in my pocket to give out. I don't remember. And that's all that's in that pocket, actually, no. And then I have some tape and then like a little Unifix cube. Then in the other pocket, I have my doorbell. Then I have another golden ticket, and then for some reason I have, I have this little red ticket that we use for our book raffles at the end of the month. It is not the end of the month, so I don't know why I have this. And then lastly, I have my keys. So that's everything that's in my pocket today. I'm gonna go ahead and empty them out. That way, golden tickets do not end up in the wash. Do your pockets end up super full at the end of the day too? I'd like to know. Okay, so the after school kids started using my room shortly after my last clip. So I stayed around a little bit longer just to put up a new alphabet. I think I mentioned this, but, and I'm actually gonna go put gas before I forget. Um, so I tried putting those up, uh, but it was kind of hard with kids in there. So I just left. I was gonna go to the gym. I haven't gone in such a long time, but I'm just so tired and it's like, I am physically tired, but also mentally tired, and I feel like I've been this way since the beginning of the school year, and I did not feel this way last year. I'm not gonna lie, it's been a really hard and difficult start of the year. I mean, it's the second quarter already, but it's been hard getting used to things and learning how to, and learning how to do things, and I don't even know. I, I, I don't even know. So I'm gonna go ahead and go put gas. Maybe I'll stop at TJ Maxx in the, on my way home, but... I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Good morning, it is Thursday and I just got to school. So I have a whole class set of these headphones. I have a microphone, which is great, but they are USB, so I cannot use them with my Kindles. So I thought I was super smart and I thought, you know what? Cobbler, cobbler. Sorry. I'm gonna go ahead and buy some adapters so they can fit in the candle, but still plug in, and we can use a microphone. Because I do have these headphones that we use for Kindles and they work fine, but I have like a small issue with my digital, with my digital portfolio. So I love having students explain their work. I love having them record themselves and explain their work, but there's a few problems with that problem is my classroom is quite small it, it is not the smallest classroom in the, in the school so I feel like I shouldn't be complaining but it is quite small and I love having students just like move around the classroom and stuff like that the noise level I feel like is a little bit amplified because of the size of the classroom and because we're all just like really close together because there's no room to like pick up a book and then record yourself reading it it just wouldn't work so my temporary solution for now was to have whoever was reading a book to themselves or recording themselves or taking a picture of their journal and reading it, um, I would have them step out in the hall like right outside my door, but then that would just create a big, um, like a big line of students waiting and it was just a lot of opportunities to just misbehave and make bad choices so i decided you know what i have these headphones with a microphone i'll just look at amazon and see if i can find an adapter which i'm sure i can i bought plenty of adapters and i did i bought two sets so it came with so i have eight in total which is great because i have nine tablets so those students could still be in the classroom recording themselves and they're learning and I would be able to hear them on the portfolio and it would just be, but they would still be in the classroom while doing it. It would just be better. <sighs> I thought maybe it was the headphones that I picked up. So I 
use other ones and they're not working. So then I thought maybe it's just the adapter. Nope. I just feel kind of defeated. I've been trying so much to just try to adapt to this new smaller environment and make things work with my ideas, but I feel like every single idea that I have gets shut down because it does not work. And I'm just a little defeated. That's a great start to my Thursday morning. Hey, so it is after school. I feel a lot better. My morning had a rough start after finding out that my idea was not gonna work. I already got the process started for a refund. That really affected my mood when it happened. I was just so annoyed and felt kind of defeated because I don't know, just, I wanna be, I just want my, I just want everything to be super smooth in my classroom and little things like that don't help. But it was a good day. So I posted this on Instagram and I posted that because I finally tried out Miss Sandoval's game show like full force with my guided reading groups and it went so well. They're so excited about it. They absolutely loved it. So let me talk, so I'm going to talk a little bit about what I did and um, yeah. Okay, so I don't have like little decodable readers or, or leveled readers at all, like physical ones, but we do have Reading A to Z where you can print off leveled readers. So that's where I get my books from and it kind of works out really well. So Mondays first thing in the morning, we go on the computers and we log on to our Reading A to Z account and each student's going to have a book assigned to them. So actually each reading group has their book of the week assigned to them on there. So they go ahead and listen to it, read it, and take a little comprehension quiz first thing on Monday so that when they meet with me, they're already familiar with the book. Um, then they meet with me, we read it, we talk about the book, and uh, then we start comprehension questions after that and just like discussions. So to make those fun and entertaining for first graders, I do what's called Miss Sandoval's Game Show. I'm not entirely sure where I got this idea from. I started doing this in student teaching out of the blue. My student teaching mentor did not do this. I must have seen it somewhere on social media or something, but I really can't remember where I got this from. Um, so at the time, I used to use little LED lights that you push um, and they turn on as buzzards. And I still have them, but I saw these on Instagram last week, I think, and they're so much more fun. Um, but I bought these from Amazon. I'll link it down below. And these were like $12, I think. So these are recordable answer buzzards. So what I do is I give each student a buzzard and it has a button right here. And um, push it and I have them say their name. So it'd be like, Miss Sandoval. So when they hit their buzzer to answer a question, that's what I hear, and there's and they get so excited doing so. Uh, I had so many students wanting to participate, and it was just a really productive 15 to 20 minutes at my guided reading table, and it was so, 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 so much fun. To make it a little bit more engaging, I do put um, game show music on my phone, so it kind of seems more like a game. Um, I hold my u ruler that I got, so this, because I don't have like a microphone. I used to have one in kindergarten, but like a foam microphone. Um, so I just hold this and I'm like, welcome to Miss Sandoval's Game Show. Like I do this whole thing and they love it. And it was so, so much fun. Um, groups that I did not get to meet with that today that haven't done this were like begging to do this soon. And I'm so excited. So I wanted to share that with you guys. So that part of my day completely turned my day around. I was in such a great mood after that and I felt like it showed through my teaching and, and it just became such a great day until <laughs> this happened can you see it's like all cracked and I post yesterday I had a student break scissors like completely in half um, then this happened but this was a complete accident so although I was upset for like a second um, I did not react, like I did not yell or anything. I just kind of like took the tablet, walked away, and then once I knew that I was calm enough, I talked to the student and sure enough, it was an accident. Things happen and I just fell on the floor as the student was trying to put headphones on. So this happened, it still works. Like you can still swipe things and everything. It just doesn't look that pretty. And I think my principal is gonna replace it. So and that did not like completely ruin my day or anyone's day. We just moved past it and kept going with with our math centers. Um, I started doing these. 
So I put these together last week. I bought it off of Teachers by Teachers. It's a bundle. I'll link it down below if I remember. So it's just addition facts. And they're 1 through 10. And um, I color coded them. So one facts are pink, dark pink. And then they have their recording sheet right here. So the way I've been doing it with small groups or mostly pairs at this moment is we'll go through addition facts. We'll just go through them and then once you're once they're comfortable with them, we'll go through them again like flashcards, but whoever says it right first, they get to keep the card and we do that a few times. Um, once we do that a few times, then we do this thing right here and it's laminated so I can use it over and over again. They have a minute to go ahead and do them and then they'll take a picture of it and put it on their digital portfolio. And if they have mastered it, then they get to move on to the next uh, fact family sort of thing. But even though like I feel like to me it doesn't sound like that much fun, I also have students begging to, begging to work with me and I even have some students want to do this during free play time today. So I don't know, they like it, so I'm just going with it. Right now I am catching up on grading, so I'm going to continue doing that because uh, in about 30 minutes I have to leave. Alex and I are going to go visit my dad and have dinner with him and he lives about an hour away, so um, that's why I have to leave pretty soon. And honestly, yesterday was kind of a day too. I don't know why I got home and I was just so tired, felt kind of defeated and I don't even know why to be honest. I cried a little bit and I honestly cannot remember why, but I did. But today after like getting over that hump in the morning, I feel really, really good. I feel good about where I'm at. I feel good about my class. I feel good about my teaching. Everything's like really great right now. Tomorrow I also have my uh, post observation conference with my principal up and we're going to talk about how I did. I, I've run into her in the hallway here and there and she's been telling me that she's excited to talk to me about it and all these other things. but. Um, I'm still a little nervous I feel because I feel like I'm really hard on myself when it comes to like teaching and stuff like that as you can probably tell now because I've cried so many times because I've set the bar really high for myself and I don't know why but sometimes it's discouraging and sometimes it's great so I don't know we'll see how tomorrow goes and I'll let you guys know I'm gonna go get I'm gonna go ahead and get back to grading and yeah also my room is not that messy and I love it I also like that I bumped that up a little bit I feel like it looks a lot more clean and sleek and just looks nice okay so it's the end of the day it has been such a busy day I had three meetings today two of them before 12 o'clock and um, I don't know I feel like that threw things off a little bit because I'd be out of the classroom and then come back okay so I had three meetings today the first one was at 7 15 the second one was at 9 o'clock and then the last one was after school Fridays are also the days where it's a little bit more laid back. We just catch up on work, reinforce skills, stuff like that. Um, Fridays we also usually have computers and library. Um, during my typical library time, the library was being used. So um, I didn't go and I also didn't really want to go too much because I was going to be I was gonna have to leave like right in the middle of it so I decided to just have my students stay in the classroom and just work on a Veterans Day craft so we all made one of these I did these last year as well in kindergarten um, and they turned them pretty pretty okay and then we we also read this book before we started the craft I should have started off with that but it's just a little reader about Veterans Day this is from Simply Kinder then we did a writing portion, so they wrote what Veterans Day is, and they wrote um, something about Veterans Day. So that's what they did instead of library. And then I went to my meeting, and I was there for like maybe 45 minutes, I think, and then I came back to the classroom. We did literacy rotations because since I was the meeting, I couldn't get computers like I usually do. And um, we just did literacy rotations, and then we went to lunch. Then I had my last meeting at the end of the school day. I've been telling you guys about it. It was my post-observation meeting. I had my first formal observation last week. I am honestly, I'm super hard on myself. I, I personally felt like the lesson didn't go that well. But after talking it through, and, re and going through every component, we do use the Danielson framework, so we were going through every component for domain two and domain three. I actually did pretty well. Like, I am so happy right now. I did so good. Obviously, there's still always room for improvements. I'm gonna be working towards 
making some of those threes into fours and I don't know, I'm just so excited. I, this is definitely a great motivator because lately I hadn't been feeling like I was a good teacher and this is just a good reminder that I am doing pretty well. I have found that when I get into my moods where I'm super like critical of myself, I just get into, I just get in my head and I'm just like, it's the end of the world. So of course, I'll try to talk it out with my husband, but bless his heart, he has no idea what really goes into teaching and it's hard to talk about teaching with him when I'm trying to get out of this funk. So um, thankfully, there's a great teacher here that's been my mentor pretty much since I started college. <laughs> um, and when I talk things out with her, I feel a lot better because then I'm able to clearly see that I am doing what I'm supposed to be doing. And that's what this post-observation meeting did for me today. So I'm super happy. I'm over the moon. I'm going to go ahead and finish up a bulletin board outside. I put up a Veterans Day uh, bulletin board. We're, we're going to have like a Veterans something event in our school next weekend, I think. So it'll be nice to just have that up. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. <laughs> Okay, so I tried making copies, but people are like printing lots of things, so it's kind of hard to. So I think, I mean, I don't really need copies right now. I just, I just wanted to make some, but I can always have my aide just run them real quick in the morning. So I'm gonna do that right now. I want to clean my classroom. I tidied up my classroom earlier this week sometime, and it just felt so much better. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to do that right now because it really made a huge difference, and I'm pretty sure kids are not coming back in my classroom right now, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Also, do you like how I halfway put up this? Yeah, I need to take away the painter's tape. <laughs> to me but I decided to make my reading log copies for the entire year that way I have them ready and I have my homework copies all the way until the end of December so at least I'm organized in that sense makes me feel kind of good so I'm gonna go ahead and just find a clip them all together and I don't know we'll see what else I do next okay so that is basically it for today's video I hope you guys enjoyed it and if you did, please give this video a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.